So this is the application. Now, if you log in, you can see we are getting the validation error. So let's enter my email. I will log in and I am getting an error. So here I can write the password and then I can log in. Hello everyone. My name is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. Welcome to another playlist. And this time we will learn Firebase. I think this is the right time to post an updated Firebase playlist. So here I am. In this playlist, we will build a simple application and we will mainly use Firebase authentication and Firebase database. So if you want to learn about Firebase authentication and Firebase database, then this is the right playlist. And in this video, we will start with Firebase authentication. And before we get started, you need to get the starter project. So open your Android studio and I will tell you how you can get the starter project for this video. This is the repository for this tutorial. The main repo contains the full completed project that you can check. But for this video, what you need is this Firebase auth starter project. Inside this directory tutorial, I will make folders in order and each folder will contain starter project and final project. You need to start with the starter project and the final is the final project for that video. Now let's download the starter project and open it in your Android studio. So you can download it from here. Just select the starter project and from here you can download the starter project. It is a zip file that you need to unzip and open in your Android studio. So be ready with your Android studio with the starter project opened. This is the starter project. It has all the basic setup already done. For example, UI, dependency injection setup and all the dependencies are already there so that we can focus on the main part. So once you open this project in your Android studio, you need to open Firebase Assistant. So open the Assistant and the first thing we need is we need to connect this project with our Firebase project. So you can select any option from here and it will take you to the connect your app to Firebase option. So from here we will select connect to Firebase. Make sure you are already logged in to your Google account. And in this case, I am going to select this project. And I will select connect. You can create a new project in your Firebase console and then select that project. Now here you can see the project is connected to Firebase. So I will just confirm it. So I will change the view to project from here and inside the app, you can see now I have this Google hyphen services dot JSON. So after doing this, you do not need to do anything that is shown here because all the dependencies are already there. So I will close the assistant and now we will run the application. So let's run the application in the emulator. So you can see we have a nice login page for the application and if you are seeing the same, then you can move ahead. So I have the UI design, the view models and the dependency injection setup already ready in this project. So I will walk you through this project first. So if you go to the Android view, then you can see we have auth, we have home and we have the UI things and we have this main activity. So this is the entry point of our application and I have an app navigator composable. Now when you open this, you can see we have an auth state that has loading authenticated and unauthenticated. Then we have nav destinations. For now we have only two destinations. The first one is login that we can see in the application. And then when we have a successful login, we will go to home. So I have two composable here in my nav host. The first one is auth view and then we have home view. So auth view is ready. Home view is also ready. And here we are deciding the start destination. For now, if you go to main activity, then here we are checking 
if the auth state is not loading, just present the app navigator. So right now this auth state is coming from the main view model as you can see here. So we have auth state that is coming from main view model. If you open the main view model, then here you can see we have the auth state and the initial value is unauthenticated. That's why we are seeing the login page. And here we will add the code to check the user session. That means if the user is already logged in, we will open the home directly. So we will do all these things. But the first thing that we need to do is we need to complete this authentication. And for authentication, we have auth view. Now I will close the emulator and here you can see we have auth view. We have all the composables here. So this is the root composable and inside the root composable we have the view model and we have only one state for the composable that we are collecting here and we are passing the state to the auth. Now if you open this auth it is here that you can see the main thing is auth view model. So let's open auth view model and here we have the auth state that is the single state for my auth screen and it has all the required values and here you can see we have login error. So login error is an one time event. So this is one time event and we have a var here that is has been handled and when you receive the one time event for the first time it will mark this var as true and then it will return null if the has been handled variable is true. That means you will receive the one time instances only once. So once you consume the one time event, it will return null. I have also created this inline function to consume one time events. Now let's go back to auth view model. And here we have auth repository in our auth view model. We have the state and we have all the functions that we need to call from the composable. Now the main part is this on login function. So when we click login, we trigger this function. Here we will check the input values and if the values are correct, we trigger the login function. And inside this login function, we need to perform login. And to perform login, we will call login from the repository. So let's log in. So the first thing here that we will do is we will update the state. So we will write state dot update and here we will update it as it dot copy and we will set is loading as true to display the progress bar in the UI. So now it is loading. Now we will check when val result equals to auth repository dot login. Now inside this login function we need to pass state dot value dot email and state dot value dot password. Now here we will add all the branches for this when block and we have two possibilities error or success. In case of error we will update the state and then add dot copy we will set is loading to false and we will set the error message that is login error and it is a one time event. So I will use one time event and here I will pass result dot message that is our error message. Now in case of success we do not need to do anything. I will tell you why later but for now let's return unit for the success scenario. So our login function is ready. Now what we need to do is we need to go to this login function and go to the implementation that is inside our Firebase auth repository. And here we need to implement the function. That means we need to write the Firebase authentication here. So what we will do is we will write val result equals to Firebase 
auth dot create user with email and password. Now this function will create a user in Firebase with email and password. And we will pass email and password. And because it is a suspending function, we will await for the result. Now from the result, we will check whether we have a user or not. So we will write result dot user dot let and here we will return auth result dot success and we will pass user that is inside it. In case we don't have a user, we will return auth result dot error and here we can pass auth success but user is null. Now this I think is an impossible case because whenever you have a success in login, you will receive a user. So now what I will do is I will put these two lines inside try and catch. So I will write return try and we will try these two lines and in catch we will catch exception. So we can write exception here. Now here we are returning auth result, but in case of exception, we will return auth result dot error. Before writing the catch block, I will explain one more thing. Here you can see the function is login, but I am using create user with email and password. That means it will not log in, but it will register a new user. I am doing this because I want to handle both login and registration in the same UI. So if we can log in the user with this email, we will log in the user. In case of an exception, we will check if the exception is user collision exception. So here we will write if E is Firebase user collision exception. In this case, we know that this email that the user provided is already exist. So let's log in that user. So I will use the same code, just copy this. And this time, instead of create user with email and password, we will call the function sign in with email and password. And we will pass email and password and we will do the same thing. For other scenario, we will simply return auth result dot error. And here we can pass some message. Let's say sign up failed. And let's say e dot message. Now this part can again fail. So I will put a try catch here as well. So login is completed. Now we need to navigate the user to the home screen. And to do this, we will open main activity and here we will open main view model. So inside main view model, you can see the current state is authenticated, but the initial state will be loading. So here I will write loading and here I will check the user session. So here we will use this Firebase auth object. And here we will write Firebase auth dot add auth state listener. And here we will get the auth. Now we will check if auth dot current user, if it is null, that means the user is unauthenticated. So we will write auth state dot value equals to auth state dot unauthenticated. Else user is logged in. That means authenticated. So we have the check user session ready that we are calling when this view model is initialized. That means inside main activity, whenever the user is authenticated, we will navigate to home view because here we are passing auth state and whenever the user is authenticated, we will go to home view because the start destination will change. So now let's run the application and see whether it is working or not. One more thing that you need to do is you need to enable the login with email and password in your Firebase console. So go to the Firebase console and enable that option. In my case, it is already enabled.
So let's run the application now. And you can see I am already logged in because this part of the code is working. So I will uninstall the application and log in again. So let's uninstall and run it again. So this is the application. Now if you log in, you can see we are getting the validation error. So let's enter my email. I will log in and I am getting an error. So here I can write the password and then I can log in. And you can see the login is working absolutely fine. You can also log out and it will log you out. And if you enter wrong credentials, let's see what happens. You can see we are getting sign up failed. The supplied auth credential is incorrect. And this error message is a one time event. That means if you log in again, it will go. So it is working absolutely fine. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video and learned something. In case you have any problem, confusion or question, you can leave your comments below. And you can get the link of the repository in the description of this video. So please subscribe if you like the video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.